I've talked about how if you connect two parallel metal plates like this to a battery, you could produce a uniform electric field in between them. I now want to try and calculate the value of the electric field strength in between the two plates. So suppose that I have I have these two parallel plates. Now one thing one thing I should mention uh, maybe before we go any further is that this this results that the electric field in between the plates are uniform. Right? When, you, when you put positive charges on top and negative charges at the bottom, by connecting this to a, to a battery, okay, this idea that the electric field in between this uh, or rather this 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 result that the electric fields in between are, are uniform is mainly true um, inside uh, uh, well, well closer to the, the the inside parts of of the space it, um, meaning uh, uh, further from from the two ends, right? If you are actually at the ends, the field would not be uniform. The field would, the field lines would actually look curved like this. Okay. Now it's not so surprising that it would not be uniform when you're at the edge, because after all, if if we go outside, we wouldn't expect much field if you are away from these two parallel plates. So you should be well inside the parallel plate, the two plates, before we, we are sure that the, the um, field is uniform. Okay. And this also means, this also suggests that the length of these plates, or the size of these plates, should be um, a lot bigger than the distance between the plates. So with this, with this understanding, um, let me now try and calculate the electric field strength, the, the E. Alright, if, if, if you recall what electric field strength means, it is the force per unit charge. It's the force that would act on a charge uh, of 1 coulomb. Alright, or if you have a charge Q, it is the force divided on the charge Q divided by divided by the charge. So let's say I have a, a charge here, positive charge here, and the charge is Q. And there is this force acting downwards on it, the force F. So the electric field strength is given by the force on this charge divided by the charge itself. Yes, that's how we can think about this. Now let me try and calculate this uh, for an uh, see how I can calculate this. Uh, just to make it um, more a bit, bit more obvious, let me think of some numbers. Let's say the the voltage here, I call that V. Let's say it's 1.5 volts, typical voltage per battery. Um, now, I would also need a distance uh, between the plates. Let's say the distance is 1 centimeter. Okay, I'll, I'll, call, I'll represent this distance by D. Okay, and suppose that the charge uh, 
okay the the, the charge in between let's say is 0 0.001 of a coulomb actually quite a big charge if, uh, from what we know in the previous video so I have some of these numbers let me then think about how I might calculate the electric field strength from from these quantities so first uh, I must somehow relate the voltage I somehow relate the voltage to the electric field strength we start by thinking about the definition of of voltage if you recall voltage is equal to the work done per unit charge so what this means is that um, if the voltage is 1.5 volts right this would also be this, this would be the voltage between the two the two plates now okay that's getting to be quite a lot of details here so I'm just going to draw this out again down here uh, I'm, I'm going to magnify that bit so I have the two parallel plates okay so this this goes on this goes on for a bit okay but I'm just going to focus on this area and I have this um, little charge here this is my charge Q Okay, and there is a force acting on it and I have the spacing D in between so my distance D in between okay now let's think about the work done um, uh, the definition of voltage so voltage is defined as the work done uh, to bring a unit charge from uh, one point to another so in this case if the voltage between those two uh, plates is 1.5 volts it means it means according to this definition that it will take 1.5 joules to bring say uh, uh, one coulomb of positive charge from here to here okay so let me let me write this down. Um, okay, wait. This is a positive pole. This is the negative pole. Now I am just going to call this A and B. Okay, I'll, I'll call this. I'll call this plate A and plate B. Now the voltage in between is one point five volts. Okay, given by that battery. So the one point five volts here. 1.5 volts um, between A and B okay means it means that um, 1.5 joules of work is done when one coulomb right one coulomb of charge maybe i would say <clears throat> if one coulomb of charge moves from a to b now it might be a little bit abstract let me try and clarify a few details um is done done by done by what okay done by the uh electric force <coughs> done by the force meaning the the electric force okay so this is if if it is one coulomb if it is not one coulomb I mean this doesn't be one coulomb okay, and we, we know that there's an electric force uh, if this is plus because plus and plus repel each other for example in this case 
But what if it's not one coulomb? Well, if it's not one coulomb, then the work done, we can calculate from here. If the charge is Q, maybe 0 0.001 coulomb, like here. So we would calculate the work done by multiplying Q by, by the voltage. So Q and V. So in this case, for example, um, for one coulomb is 1.5 joules, right? So for, for 0 0.001 coulomb, for example, I will take 0 0.001 coulomb and multiply it by the 1.5 joules. So in this case, um, I want to work it out. I will take Q, which is 0 0.001, multiply by the 1.5. Okay, so that will give 0 0.0015 joule. So that's the amount of work that it would do when <coughs> that the uh, electric force would do when it when the charge when this charge moves from A to B. But let's not forget that uh, why I brought this up was because I, I would want to try and relate voltage to force. So I, okay, I understand now that from the voltage I can find a value for the work done. And to relate to the force, we know the relation between work and force. Okay, we know that force and work are related by work done is equal to force times distance. And I know the distance. So I have a connection now. I have a connection now between um, voltage. Voltage is related to work. Work is related to force. Force is related to electric field. So it looks like we have a way now to, to calculate the electric field if we know the voltage. So let's try and let's do some uh, algebra to see if we, we can find a, a relation between E and V. Now um, let's do it step by step. So first, let me relate. Try to relate E to the work. So I would like to have an, write F in terms of W. So F, if I divide both sides by D, I get F is work divided by distance. I can now substitute this into the F there. So E is equal to F here would be W over D. So W over D and I still have the Q from up there. And then let's press on. W we know is related to the voltage by Q times V. So therefore W is Q times V. DQ and Q and Q can cancel. So that gives me V over D. And that's it. That's all I really need. If I know the voltage, and, uh, which I do, and if I know the distance in between, which is 1 centimeter, let me write this down here again. This is 1 centimeter. I can then find E. So, okay, let, let me do it. V, uh, voltage is 1.5. D is 1 centimeter. Convert that to meters. That would be 0 0.1, 0 0.01 meter. So therefore the answer is 150. Now I've seen previously that the unit uh, for electric field strength is Newton per coulomb. Because it's force over force over charge. Now, but I'm going to introduce a new unit here. You see, from this formula, you see that the field strength can be calculated in this case from voltage over 
distance and the unit for that uh, therefore can also be voltage per meter so this is actually an equivalent unit to that and in this way we have found we have found a formula um, to calculate the electric field strength so this would be um, this would be a useful formula so let me write it out here again so e is equal to uh, v over d e is equal to voltage over distance for these two parallel plates so we should remember this 